everyone. Good morning. It's Monday, June 8th, 2020. Welcome to our last week of online learning. So don't lose steam because it's the last week. We have five more days and we can do it. Um, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Caroline graduated this weekend and you know she goes to a Catholic school. So Friday night there was a mass virtually. So we watched it on our television. Um, but it was very nice and then they did like an award ceremony afterwards and she got a, a couple of really nice awards. Um, and then Saturday they did, remember I, I think I told you they were going to do individual, an individual graduation ceremony. So we really weren't sure what that was all about, but um, it turned out really nice. They had done a drive through the week before, so it was similar like when we first came in, we probably had to stop at like five different places. Now, the property her school is on is maybe around 100 acres, and it's beautifully wooded. And there is like a, a path that goes through, you know, and around the school and through the woods, but you don't normally ever, ever use it for cars. Um, but for this, they did. So the first stop, they gave her National Honor Society, like stole, it's like a, sort of like a fancy scarf that goes around your with your gown. She had already had her cap and gown. And then um, they gave her like an alumni pin and then they gave her a beautiful necklace that was like the seal of the school. I think that was something special because for these graduates, since they kind of got chipped out on their last few months. Um, and then we drove up further and we got out of the car and they gave her flowers and they had a photographer and it was in the front of the school. So the photographer took pictures of the five of us of just Caroline, Caroline with me, Caroline with my husband, Caroline with her sisters, Caroline by herself, um, and uh, which was really nice. And then the next stop, they had a like a video kind of showing, and they had it up to her slide. It was her picture and like her favorite memories, which was really nice. And then um, then we went to the actual graduation, and now the school the door that the school that the girls always go in and out of is sort of like the back door to the building um the front door is up it's like very like fancy it's up like these beautiful steps maybe there is like 20 big steps but they're like wide a beautiful staircase with these big pillars and fancy front doors um and that's where they the principal and the vice principal were and I have to say they did such a nice job they had like a podium set up where the vice principal was and then um, that was at the very top and at the middle like where the break is like a little landing the principal was there and then they had a table so when we got there they're like okay Caroline come on up so she went up the steps and she stood at the first landing um, you know very far away from the principal which was nice since she didn't have to wear a mask because they gave her a mask like a white mask to go with the white gown and I thought oh like her graduation from high school with a mask on but she didn't have to wear it because she was very far away from everyone um, but then they stood there and the principal like announced her name and they did like a nice little thing and um, she got her diploma and then the that was vice principal and the principal said, okay, you know, blah, 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 about moving your tassel back and forth. There was another photographer there and she stood on the steps holding her diploma. So it was really nice. I cried. I don't ever cry at graduations, but I've been crying a lot lately. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it was very nice. I hope you all had a nice weekend. Um, and it was lucky because we got back just in time because as soon, pretty much as soon as it was over, we were like, oh, the sky's getting darker. And by the time we got back to our house, it was torrential rain. Well, I had about three minutes to take some pictures. So I'll post some pictures later. Um, so I hope you had a nice weekend too. Um, I have a lot of shout outs. Okay, so on Friday, we are, I'll give you our shout outs first and I'll tell you what our numbers all are. So Ariana had 129 questions. Alice had 126 questions. Adriel had 262 questions. Matthew answered 148 questions. Christopher, way to go, 385 questions. Amelia, 128 questions. Ashley L, 119 questions. Christian, 153 questions. Alex, 135 questions. Lorenzo, 128 questions. Lucas, way to go, 263 questions. Avery, 137 questions. And Ion, uneven 100. Owen was 
I don't know, Owen, you must have just like worked all day Friday because Owen answered 1,137 questions. That is a ton of questions, Owen. I am super proud of your work ethic. And I know you were determined to get to that 200,000 and single-handedly you might just do it. Um, so as a class, we've answered 183,660 questions. So we have 17,000 to go. I think we can definitely do it. Not only do I think we can do it, I think we can do it by like Wednesday. And that brings me to a different point I'm gonna tell you in a moment. Um, so we have five people who answered over 10,000 questions. Ali, Ariana, she made it over on Friday. Christian, Lorenzo, Owen. Close, Adriel, Lucas, and Ashley L. You are close. So if you really dig your heels in this week, you'll get it. Um, as will a bunch of other people, but those people were just super close. Um, okay, so I, I excel, I don't know if you ever noticed in, I think it's under the learning, like at the top is like learning something else than analytics. If you go to analytics, you can see how many questions you've answered. Um, if you go to learning, all the way to the right, there's an, I think it's called an award center, and it will tell you what awards you have gotten. Now, some of them, like if they're older, they're outdated. So if you, like, let's say, for example, um, uh, Owen's answered, I think he's answered like 11,000 questions. He probably has a certificate in there saying, congratulations, you've answered 1,000 questions. Congratulations, you've answered 2,000 questions. So obviously, just the most recent awards would be the best ones, right? You don't want an award for 1,000 questions when you can get one for 11,000 questions. So what I'm going to do is on Thursday afternoon, so our Zoom is Thursday at 11, and we're gonna change after Zoom at 11, um, I am going to go to the award, I'm gonna go to school, and I'm going to print out all of your latest awards, like the best awards that you have. So, and including our class awards. So really by Thursday, 12 o'clock, we really need to, that's when our numbers kind of stop counting. So to reach our goal of 200,000, we have to do it by Thursday, 12 o'clock, if you catch me, because I'm going to go up to school and print out all your certificates. Um, so I think we can do it. I definitely think we could do it. And I think a lot of you have a really good shot of getting really great certificates. So look at your numbers and see what you can do. All right, a um, bunch of things to talk about today, obviously, because I've been talking so much already. And it's actually Monday morning, which, you know, I never do this. I always do the night before. But yesterday, I worked all day on schoolwork. I did the report card comments. I did your awards. And that basically took me all day. And then by the time I did all of the stuff for today, um, I did prepare all my notes, but it was just like 11 o'clock last night and I was like, all right, I think I'll just wait to the morning. Um, so tomorrow, it's Tuesday, item drop off. So if you have an instrument, you have a library book, you have something that belongs to me or the class or whatever, drop it off between eight and three. Um, the memo is on grade four page. I think I put it up there about a week ago. So you probably have to scroll down a bit. Our Zoom schedule for this week. Tomorrow only, small group. Uh, 10.30 red, 11.30 yellow, uh, orange, 12.30 yellow. And um, Wednesday, we're gonna do a full class. Now, usually I leave like some surprises at the end of the year, but given the fact that we really have had like a very unique last three months, I think you all need something to look forward to. So Wednesday, we're gonna do a whole class, and I always write poems for my class. So if you've had a sibling, if one of your siblings have had me, you know, I always do an acrostic poem with your names. So Wednesday, we're going to do that. I'm gonna give out all the poems. Well, I'm not gonna actually give out the poems, but I'm gonna read the poems to you. Uh, Thursday is our award ceremony. And, um, and then on Friday, we're just gonna kind of get together um, and say our goodbyes. So Friday, and here comes our big announcement, right? So you ready for our big announcement? Before I say it, think about what you think it might be. It's Friday after Zoom. What do you think? All right, well, I'm gonna tell you. Ready, drum roll? I am coming to visit each of you. I'm gonna do my own visit, drive-by visit. So uh, I don't know what order I'm gonna do it in. I'm gonna, after Zoom though, I'm probably gonna eat lunch and then I'm gonna go. 
and the schedule will be like towards the end of the week, I'll give you the, at least the order of my, and I'm going and I have to do that still, but I'm going to come to each of your houses and I'm going to come visit you. Obviously it's going to be a social distance visit. I can't hug any of you, which will be very sad for me. Um, and I thought I would give you your awards then so I can come and, and deliver that to you. And I'm super excited to see each of you because really, I mean, I love teaching, but the best part about teaching are the kids really. I mean, without the kids, it's like no fun. So even though I get to see you on Zoom, I'm really missing seeing each of you. So I'm coming to your house. Don't worry, I'm not coming in your house. You don't have to clean your room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, well, I'm not kidding. I'm not coming in your house. So I'm gonna, I'm going to put together some kind of a route. So if you live near people, I'm hoping I can do something. I'll put it in my Google Maps or something and they'll give me a route. I don't know how I'm going to do that exactly, but I am gonna, and I will tell you the order I'm coming in. And I'm gonna come up to your house. I'm gonna wave while I get out of the car. I'll give you your awards um, or I'll leave them. I'll probably leave them at the end of the driveway so you don't have to get too close to me. All right, so I'm super excited about that. I hope you're excited too. So it's like my own little like one person parade for our class. Um, I thought that would be really fun and a nice way to end the year, right? Because I'm missing you. I hope you're missing me. And um, I just thought a nice way to end the year. I'm coming to visit. Exciting. Uh, all right. So after Zoom on Friday, eating lunch, getting in the car, going. Um, which brings me to our tie-dye shirts. Now, if you remember, our tie-dye shirts are always a pay it forward. It's a gift for our next year's class. Obviously, we can't do it together. I can't even have every kid do it, so don't get your hopes up because someone said, oh, tie dye shirts. I can't have every kid do it either because um, the dye is like super expensive. I think, I think I paid $25 for one kit. I forget even, maybe it was like $50 for two kits. And, you know, like usually I could do three kits for the whole class. Um, and then, you know, we share it obviously but that's not possible this year. So we did have some volunteers to do our tie dye and I really appreciate it. Uh, so the people who volunteered were Christian, Ali, Morgan, Alice, Ashley L, and um, Amelia. Now I spoke to Amelia's mom and Christian's mom and they're on board. So Ali, Morgan, Alice, and Ashley L, please have your parent email me and let me know that yes, you're definitely able to tie dye shirts. So probably like four or five shirts each you'll get. And I'll give you some dye and um, you'll do it at home and then you'll have to drop it off at school. So when I come to your house on Friday, I'll deliver the supplies for those kids for the, for, to tie dye the shirts. And remember, no one's keeping any of these shirts, right? So you're gonna tie dye and then when they're washed, you're gonna bring them back up to school. So please, so Ali, Morgan, Alice, Ashley L, please have your parent email me and let me know that yes, you're on board, you know you have to tie dye shirts, I'll drop it off on Friday, you'll have the weekend to do it, and then you'll bring them back to school on Monday. So hopefully that's good for you. Um, alrighty, five things going on today. New book, Writing Freedom. It's a really good book. I'm surprised how good it is actually. I didn't think it was gonna be this good, but it's really good. And the beginning of it's sad. Like we learned about Charlie in the story last week. We just know of her as an adult, but um, we learned about her background. So, and why she dresses as a, a boy. Um, so it's really good. So chapters one and two today. All right, ELA, you're gonna read our next story, which is Lesson 17 in Journeys. And um, it's the right dog for the job, or the right job, the right dog for the job. I always get that mixed up. And you're gonna to listen to it or read it today and do a sequence graphic organizer. And then tomorrow you're gonna to bring that to our small group, Zoom. Um, so that's what you need for small group. So it's journeys and then that graphic organizer. Math is uh, step up lesson five, step up to fifth grade, which is 17-5 and it's finding common denominators. There's a video that I'm gonna make next. And um, I already have my board set up though. And you're going to watch the video and do some IXL. There's only one IXL lesson that goes with this math. Um, but I do want to show you, tell you that it's a fifth grade lesson. 
So there's one lesson for fifth grade that you have to do on common denominators. And then there's review lessons for fourth grade. So I, because I think last week people didn't do that. So I wrote very specifically fifth grade in the lesson and then fourth grade in the lesson. I tried to do it differently this time so it stood out a little bit more, hopefully. Science, generation genius, um, energy transfer today. And social studies, we're on to chapter 19. I'm hoping we can finish the book. I really, I think one year I came, I came to the last, I got the last chapter in. Um, but I don't know, that's the only other year I've ever finished the book. So I'm hoping we can finish the book. So today is about New York State government. And you're going to watch a YouTube video. It's a short video on New York State government. And then read a little bit, a couple pages, and then you're going to take the quiz. Alrighty. So I hope you're excited that I'm going to come visit you and, um, and drop off your awards. That why, that's why, going back to what I said about IXL, I really want you to look at your analytics and see if you can get to the next, like whatever. So usually they give awards at even numbers. So if you're at 5,783, if you get to 6,000, that's probably when you'll get an award. Um, so hopefully you can look at your analytics and on Thursday afternoon, I'll print out your latest awards and, um, and then I'm gonna come drop them off. So please comment, not everyone comments on my video. So comment on my video and tell me what you think. All right, all right. I love you guys, I miss you. I'm going up to Abby today, right after I do the math video, eat breakfast quick and then I'm going up to Abby, I have to pack up our room. So that's not gonna be very fun. Um, and it's gonna be like a lot because usually I have 24 helpers and we get the room, boom, 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 done but it's gonna be a little slower today. Alrighty, love you guys, miss you, bye.